Yo, 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 what's good? Freedom Marchers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. This is Tyrus Bain, AKA Snapzilla the Outlaw, Christina, AKA Snapzilla I, Gorilla. One, ten, Welcome to five. the definition of anarchy. Where this morning, I'm going to be on, uh, what is it? December 3rd, 2021, on a Friday. I'm going to talk about this fool, <laughs> B Tatum. All right, B Tatum. This guy done came out of YouTube jail and the first thing he does is pick up his McMichaels cake cake all right this guy is so desperate for the McMichaels to be justified in cold-blooded murder yes I said cold we're well, not cold-blooded murder murder I mean there was a struggle you know but in murder he I mean come on man so he what he does is he comes out in his live stream last night and and, and, and tries to litigate, <laughs> tries to litigate the case. He's trying so desperately to make it be what he wants it to be, what he, which is that he wants, he wants a Negro, any Negro that a white person has a problem with being in their neighborhood or they suspect of previous robberies or something like that, he wants, listen, he wants white folks to be able to chase down some Negroes that he perceives as thugs to kill them. That's what he wants. He wants them to be able to get away with that. Now, let's go over some of the shit he talked about. And I only watched a little bit of it, but it was enough for me to say, okay, this guy is really trying hard. Let's talk about these two clauses in the law. One where it says you have to have immediate knowledge and or you know, you have to have immediate knowledge or have been present, okay? Present, because guess what? Some people don't know what suspect means, okay? In the second sentence, it says, if the person is trying to escape or is in the process of escaping, you can perform a citizen's arrest under reasonable suspicion that they have committed the felony, okay? Now, he wants to say that it's two separate clauses. He's saying it's ambiguous, but this is what I interpret it as, as someone who understands and knows English, right? Now, if it's two sentences together, right? If it's two clauses in one sentence, then that means that they go together, all right? In some form or fashion. They're just two separate, kind of like two parts of one thought or two separate thoughts of one overall uh, 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 message, okay? If I say, to in order to perform a citizen's arrest, you have to have been in the presence of the person committing a felony or have immediate knowledge of a person committing a felony. That could be one sentence. That could be one sentence. And then another sentence could be, in order to perform a citizen's arrest, the person who you, the, uh, the person has to be escaping or trying to escape or in the process of escaping the scene of the crime of the felony that you have reasonable suspicion of. That could be another sentence. Those can be two separate sentences, but they're together, just like the Second Amendment. They're together. Like, the sec let's go over the Second Amendment. Uh, let's see, uh, the second amendment says, uh, uh, what is a well-regulated militia being necessary for a free state, comma, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Okay. Now, if those were two separate sentences, then th those can stand as two separate sentences, but they're not. They put them together as one sentence, two clauses, one sentence, meaning they go together. A well-regulated militia being necessary for a free state. Therefore, essentially, the right of the people to keep them bare arms shall not be infringed. So they're saying that in order for you, in order for a free state to be, to remain free, there shall be a militia 
a, there shall be a well-regulated militia in order for this to occur the right of the people to keep their arms shall not be infringed basically right just like with this law not with it's not the exact same but this is two clauses of one sentence basically in order for you to try to uh, arrest someone who's escaping or trying to escape the scene of a crime where you have reasonable suspicion of them committing a felony you have to have immediate knowledge and be in the presence of that suspected felony I don't understand what's so hard to understand about that they're not two separate sentences they're two separate clauses of one sentence meaning they go together all right it's the same thought they just separating the thought right now that's what that is that's what that is brandon tatum is trying so hard and then he shows the video of listen man oh look at the green grass oh see the green grass over there listen I don't I, I don't have to run off into somebody else's grass in order for you to stop fucking with me. If you're chasing me down with vehicles, how about you how about you not chase me down in a vehicle in the first fucking place? How about you not chase me down in a vehicle in the first place? So that I don't have to worry about You know what I'm saying? Whether or not I need to veer off into the grass. I'm not obligated to veer off into the grass because you're chasing me down in vehicles. Where, where is this logic coming from? Just because he didn't run off into the fucking grass doesn't mean that he deserved to die. That means that he is going to go where he feels like he wants to go in a public area. You don't own the fucking street. He doesn't own the street, so he doesn't have to stay in the, in the street. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to go anywhere. He, you're the one who who is violating. You're violating his right, his freedom of travel. You are assaulting him with your vehicles. Brian bumped him with his truck. That is aggravated assault and battery. That's why he got charged with, that's why he got convicted of murder because he corralled that, he corralled uh, Ahmaud Arbery, hit him with his truck and, and, and put him in a position where he basically had to try to defend himself against a, 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 a lunatic with a shotgun. And that's, that's the way it is. That's the bottom line to it. Now, let's talk about the, let, let, let's say we want to separate. Let's say, let's say the whole escaping reasonable suspicion thing is, uh, <clears throat> is that is a separate sentence. Okay. Let's, let's look, let, let's, let's, let's go over some more English. Okay. Trying to escape or in the process of escaping. <clears throat> now, were the McMichaels there to arrest him as he tried to escape that house? Because that's where the scene of the crime was, right? That's where the scene, the scene of suspected crime was. Was he there? Were they there to stop him from escaping or stop him from trying to escape? Or was they were they there as he was in the process of escaping the crime scene or the suspected crime scene. No, he was blocks away. <clears throat> he was blocks away. He had already escaped. He had already escaped. He had already been gone. Escaped, it doesn't say if the person escaped, you could chase him down with your vehicles and fucking uh, 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 confront him with a branded farm. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says in the process of escaping or attempting to escape. That means if they saw him go into the house, right? And saw him touch something, they run over there before he can leave the house and try to arrest him. That's when it would be valid. Not after he already left the house. Not after he's already blocks away. That's not how it works. So these people who try to shape English, I know a lot of the English language is subjective, but shit like this is not subjective. It's very specific. 
we're talking about tenses and what makes up a sentence and what makes up clauses in the sentence and what makes two sentence, two clauses in one sentence go together. It's one thought, they go together, right? One, one, uh, I forgot what they, uh, one brings about the other, like one clause is the primary clause and then there's a secondary clause, okay? That primary clause sets up the secondary clause and the primary clause doesn't have to even be the first clause. It could be the second clause. There can be three clauses in a sentence. But it's still one sentence. It's still one sentence. Hmm? And tenses, past, present, you know what I'm saying, future tense. That, and, and the way that escaped, escaped means he already is gone, right? Escape, it does, it, you haven't escaped the crime scene once you left the country, no. Once you left the crime scene, the street that he they killed him on was not the crime scene. They didn't even attempt to stop him from leaving the house. So there you have failed. You failed, let the police take care of it like the motherfucking operator told you to. In the process of escaping, meaning that you're still trying to get away. That meaning you're still trying to get out of the crime scene that you were uh, reasonably suspected of committing a felony in. All right? And then, and then, uh, 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 trying to escape. That means that they're trying to leave and you're not letting them. Something's holding them up. They haven't succeeded in escaping. That's what happened. Now, if they're being chased by the police, that's a whole different story. You're not the police, though. All right? And you did not... And let's go, let's go over this. Something Brandon Tatum still was not, will not tell you. They did not indicate to the 911 operator or the police, once when they gave their statements, that Ahmaud Arbery had committed a felony at the time of the killing when he was in that house. They did not indicate that he had done anything wrong. And that's why the operator asked him, Did he, is he doing something wrong? Because just being in a house that's under construction, that's not occupied, is not, is not technically, is not Ooh. trespassing, is not a crime. There has to be signs posted and they have to be told that they can't enter the house. That had not happened. There were not valuables in the house, as Brandon Tatum was trying to say. There were not. And even if there were, there could be, in, 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 uh, it has to be occupied. It was not an occupied building. As he was trying to say when he looked up that little uh, trespassing law or burglary. Not only that, in order for it to be trespassing, in two miles, there has to be on the right. a felony committed, right? There was no felony committed. He was standing around. He wasn't touching shit. It don't matter. I don't care why the fuck he was in there. And that's what they're, they're that, that's what they'll try to skew this whole thing toward. And that's the the jury was smart. They didn't fall for that bullshit. Oh, trying to use his past against him, trying to say, oh, he he had been in there and before. Every time he had gone in there. He hadn't touched anything, according to the video footage, right? He just looked around, and guess what? He might have been looking around to see if there was shit to steal. I don't know. I don't. I can't prove his intent, and neither can Brandon Tatum. They'll try to tell you, oh, you know why he was in there? He was going in there to steal. You don't know that. And I hope, I hope the, the parents sue your ass for saying that shit. I hope they sue your ass for saying that their son was trying to steal shit and that he was a thug and all this other shit. I hope they sue your monkey ass because you deserve it. Yes, I do. 
on Oh, they see your monkey ass. Keep right. Period. Anybody trying to say what? Oh, Marbury, he wasn't jogging. It doesn't matter. He didn't take shit. He stood there. Understand that. And guess what? You know why it's reasonable suspicion of burglary? Because they don't know. It's not because, oh, well, I saw him in the house. Therefore, I reasonably suspect that he took something. Even though you didn't see him take shit. You saw him standing around. You were there. You saw, you were across the street. But you saw what he was doing, which was nothing. Proceed about one mile. You can't say, oh, I had reasonable suspicion. Because you saw him standing there. No. You know what would be reasonable suspicion? If you saw him pick up something and you didn't know whether or not it belonged to him or or belonged to the owner of the house or if he was told to go pick something up you don't know any of that right well you know that he wasn't because uh, english told you guys about him and the police gave you the picture but nonetheless you could have saw him bend over and appear to pick up something whether he picked it up or not now you have a reasonable suspicion to believe that he was committing burglary because you saw him bend over and reach out and look like he grabbed something. It could have been his wallet that he dropped. It could have been his cell phone. You don't know what it was. But at that point, you have reasonable suspicion. And that at that point, okay, I can understand you can, you saying, well, I had reasonable suspicion because I saw him bend over and pick, pick up something. And guess what? The camera would indicate that. The video camera footage would indicate, okay, Ahmaud Arbery, he, he dropped his phone and bent over to pick it up, but it appeared to the McMichaels because they were not in the house at the That's time right. that he was trying to taste something. So I can see the reasonable suspicion at that point. But guess what? That didn't happen. You saw him standing around. If you're telling me, oh, he's in the house, but he's just standing there. He's looking around, he's not doing anything, but he's in the house. Uh, there have been a rash of burglaries before, uh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and so therefore, you know, oh, I want to get them. And they tell you to stand down. That's not reasonable suspicion, yo. That's not reasonable suspicion. That's stay your monkey ass out of it and let the police handle it. Or at the very most, follow behind him. Don't try to corral him. You already called the police. Why are you still trying to perform a citizen's arrest? You're not because you didn't even use that defense. You didn't even use that until after you found out you were indicted. That was your defense after the fact. You didn't say anything about re, uh, uh, citizen's arrest beforehand. Nope. So there's that. So there's that. No matter how you slice it, they deserved the verdict they got, and I hope they get life in fucking prison. Yes, I do. I hope they do. All of them, including Brian, who prevented uh, Ahmaud Arbery from escaping, from getting away from some fucking crazed lynch mob that was chasing him down with an idiot in the back of the truck with a gun and another motherfucker hopping out with a gun. They deserve what they get. <clears throat> and listen, Temple dumbass, still, what did he say? Oh, it just, it just, it, it just ignorant. He said some stupid shit. I forgot. I, I ain't even gonna bring it up, man. But the bottom line is this. It doesn't matter why Ahmaud Arbery was in that house. Okay. He was not breaking the law when he was in the house. The McMichaels indicate that he wasn't breaking the law. The camera footage indicated that he wasn't breaking the law. And so they just didn't want him in the house. <clears throat> they had thought, oh, and, and Brandon Tatum, stop telling people that uh, the McMichaels saw Ahmaud Arbery go in the house before. They never saw him go in the house. They never saw him. They never saw him in the house before. In they were shown now, pictures by the police and East Pacific that Coast Highway. said that showed that Ahmaud Arbery, Arbery was in the house. They didn't see him go into the house when he did previously. Okay, so stop saying that shit. 
stop saying it. Tell the truth. Stop stop with all the lies. Ahmaud Arbery. Doesn't matter what, what he was doing in there. Because he wasn't doing anything wrong at the time. And why wouldn't English have a no trespassing sign posted? After he saw people going in his house multiple times. And it wasn't just Ahmaud Arbery, by the way. Ahmaud Arbery was not the only person going into the house. So why wouldn't he have a sign posted saying, no trespassing, do not enter? Why would you why would you leave that? The route guidance is why would you not <clears throat> rectify that? Very interesting. Anyway. Thought I'd share this quick video. Um <clears throat> I still stand where I stand. Brandon Tatum continues to lie to his uh to his audience. Um, it is what it is. I mean, he tries to shout out to ABL for standing on your own two nuts, man, and, and, and keeping it real about the Ahmaud Arbery case. You know what's up. Colleen Noir knows what's up. Brandon Tame is des desperately trying to make this Ahmaud Arbery's fault, and he knew he was wrong, and so he's trying to get up there and relitigate and try to redeem his stupid ass takes. But it is what it is, y'all. Much love, like, share, subscribe, and let's keep marching forward to our freedom. Peace.